Good morning, everybody. It's about 10 o'clock. We got the air conditioner on over there. It's set to 26. So it's actually turning on and off, on and off. It's a little bit nippy this morning. It was 11 degrees when we got out of bed. It's um, a very... It's a very cloudy sort of overcast day today. As you can see over there. So we got the normal household loads on. Um, the hot water system's on and that's up to 50C already. That's good. That goes up to 65 and then it automatically shuts down. The uh, charge controllers, the MPPT charge controllers and the batteries are doing their job. Let's go and have a look on the program. Okay, excuse the mess in here, I've been working. But let's uh, have a look on the program and see what's going on. All right, so this is what the solar is doing right now. As you can see up here on, on live, so the air conditioner is turned off in the house. Live watts, we can probably see that here. No, we can't. Um, that's the house watts down the bottom. And that's the current solar watts coming in. And we go down here to the live battery. Oh, here we go. The air conditioner just kicked in. As you can see, that draws quite a load when that starts up, that air conditioner. Almost... Uh, 3,700 watts and then it drops down to a minuscule amount that's with the house load okay and um, it draws about 400 watts when it's running which is quite good now remember we are currently running the um, outside uh, water uh, heater as well and you can see the solar watts we've got a cloud going over the panel there live view is really nice let's have a look at the battery okay you can see the cloud in the amount of amps going into the batteries the amps have dropped right off even though we've got a fairly good load uh, the ma maximum peak solar watts up here is uh, 5311 and the state of charge is 94 the amps 6.8 and the battery volts are at 54 point yeah let's just say 54 up and down okay um, that air conditioner will turn off in a, in a, in a, in a minute because it's, it's set on uh, automatic thermostat control all right let's have a look at these units okay so um, uh, this unit's uh, solar watts, okay, and solar amps, and up, up there you've got whiz bang amps, that's amps going into the battery bank with everything combined, all the solar units combined, okay, and you've got panel volts down here, and that's here, so this is um, taking 9.8 amps off the solar panels and the MPP is turning that into 14 amps and feeding that into the loads and the batteries. Let's have a look at unit 2. So unit 2 is producing 460 plus watts and again you can see it's amps, it's producing 5.9, the battery amps 8.9, uh, the solar volts are 83, and of course you've got the whiz bang amps, which is everything combined, which is this figure just here. Okay, so that's that for that one. Let's have a look at the um, Victron. Uh, yesterday's peak. Okay, the Victrons are currently producing 300 and 69 watts the solar volts are 89 same about the same as the others and it's producing seven amps going into the battery battery amps 
and there's its battery voltages there 53.4446 okay and the inverters of course all right uh, unit that's the uh, summary information on this page where everything together we're taking 18 amps uh, not out of the batteries but from all the other solar control controllers that are feeding that and then the leftover amps are going into the batteries over here okay you can see uh, house watts current load right now total house load 17 18 percent okay now let's go into unit one you've got the ac watts of unit one you can see that for yourself the solar solar volts batteries and uh, this unit says it's pulling 9 amps with that solar as well unit 2 ok there we go and it says it's pulling 8 amps with the load so we've got unit 2 unit 1 you can see it changed there and then we've got summary ok so I know the, Vict the Victron isn't working on Dave's view right now um, or the information, I don't think the information's on my, my live view but it is working and it is being added into everything it's just um, I, I did an update, a uh, software update on it and it's um, caused a glitch in the, in the uh, program so Jeremy's got to fix that I, I like watching the live, it, it's, it's nice. But let's go into um, the menu and have a look at quick look at the chart. Uh, we don't want the house, we want the uh, actual battery chart for this morning. Wait for it, there it is. And you can see with my loads and the uh, clouding effects and everything else you can see it's up and down up and down up and down but my battery uh, state of charge my last this morning was 87 percent and you can see it's just climbing um, really quick these these sorts of AGM batteries I have do recover very quickly and I would dare say what's the time it's I would dare say we'll be even with all this cloud we'll be at 100% uh, by or shortly after uh, midday and of course this is why we're asleep these loads down here all down here and yeah all right I just thought I'd show you that because I always find that very interesting let's have a look what solar is for today all right, that's that's the solar that we're, we're bringing in. This is this is per hour, of course. As um, the sun gets higher, it will just produce more and more and more. Um, yeah, and the house, as you can see, while we're sleeping, we've got a very low consumption. And when we're out of bed, it, yeah, it goes up higher and higher. All right, there you go. There's a uh, video showing you the uh, system. There's the watts again. The air conditioner just turned off. Out there, you can see the uh, battery amps just jumped up. Um, yeah, we went from uh, what thirteen, nearly fourteen hundred, back down to eight hundred. So that actual water heater out there is using extremely low power compared to the uh, air conditioner. Remember, this is my whole house up here, including the um, heat pump water heater. So that's, that's pretty good. And we've just had a cloud come over again. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. That just shows you what's going on and uh, you can see up the top the colors so if you want to know what the colors do the green blue and red just look up top 
is a legend. Uh, yeah, everything's working as expected, absolutely brilliantly. My batteries, people have been asking um, how are my batteries performing since I put them in and um, they're still performing like brand new even though it's, what, two years, nearly, probably three, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at the videos. Um, and I'm expecting them to last a long time indeed. All right, keep safe everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.